You got an echo. Your five questions for the doctor. Number one, what is the EF? The ejection fraction is an estimate of your heart's ability to pump blood to the rest of your body. Normal is 55 to 70%, but some laboratories will use a cutoff of 50%. Anything outside this window is considered abnormal. The lower the number, the worse the prognosis. But you can still have a normal EF and still have heart failure, which means the next question needs to be, is your right ventricle working well? Or more precisely, is there right ventricular dysfunction? With both the EF and the presence or absence of right ventricular dysfunction, the physician can further determine, along with your clinical history, on whether or not you have heart failure. Number three, are your valves diseased? There are a few conditions in which valvular diseases can contribute to overall heart dysfunction and other problems. Infected valves can cause bloodstream infections and can contribute to the development or extension of bloodstream infections to other parts of the body, such as the spine. The valves can also calcify as we age, causing further deterioration of the function and contributing to heart failure. Number four, how is your heart muscle? In some cases, the heart muscle can hypertrophy or enlarge depending on certain circumstances, such as long-standing high blood pressure. There are rare autoimmune conditions like sarcoidosis. And then there's also amyloidosis, which involves protein deposition of the heart. Ask if the heart muscle is thickened or stiff. Echo can suggest hypertrophy or an infiltrative process and open the pathway for further confirmation tests. Finally, number five, what relation do these findings have on your current symptoms? Chances are you underwent the echo because your doctor was investigating something specific, such as heart failure, or whether or not the heart's function is contributing to the disease presentation you are experiencing. It can be confusing at times to distinguish between the heart or the lungs in many clinical situations. Knowing the heart's function and various hemodynamic information can elucidate the clinical picture leading to the physician to target the right disease process. If you like this content, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I'm here to make the medicine make sense.